some errands with me. I have to go get cat litter. And I also wanted to go on a late night study sesh to Starbucks. I haven't done that in a while. But yeah, that's the plan for right now. So we're going to Tractor Supply and then heading to Starbucks. So I saw this thing that instead of using cat litter, if you use these pallets, it works. And that's what I've been using. So we got one. Country girls ride. Oh, I'm trying to see if they have the chicks out so I can show you guys. I don't think they do. So cute and cuddly. Are you recording yourself? Why is it so awkward vlogging in public? Oh my gosh, that was so awkward. I was like trying to get a cute little aesthetic clip of like me paying and then she saw the camera. She's like, are you recording yourself? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like she doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. Ugh, I just love that for myself. This is my $10 hand sanitizer that I got. Anyways, let's go to Starbucks. home now probably eat something and then i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i have no idea what i'm gonna do okay guys so it's saturday now we're having this little event here in town I really wasn't doing anything all that interesting kind of just been raining it's been that twilight weather so everyone's just been home it's supposed to rain today as well for some reason today i just like could not sleep anymore and i just felt motivated to just get up and like start my day early so i got ready we're gonna head to the coffee shop so i can have my quiet bible reading time in there it's raining it's gloomy it's giving perfect like coffee vibes like that's the ideal time to be at a coffee shop i don't think i've ever shown you guys my perfumes but i have the gucci bamboo one is so like it's one of my favorites my mom had the big bottle and i really really loved it that i got this little roller one that i just absolutely love also i am a huge like versace girl when it comes to perfumes so this is my newest one to my collection the pink versace so before i got this one i actually ran out of this one this is my first one ever i was obsessed with this one this one's the blue lagoon so if you want to know what i smell like these are my perfumes i got the new milani lip oil this one's in shade 130 raspberry peach it actually smells delicious and they're only like four dollars Outside. I honestly don't have motivation right now, but there is one task that I need to get out of the way because it's just getting on my nerves. Look at my cat. If you've watched me for a while now, you know this rack. This rack is familiar. I used to have all of my like summer clothes and I still have some like dresses on here. I need to take out all of the summer clothes and put in all of my sweaters. Every year when seasons change, like I put, if it's summer, I put my winter clothes in tubs and like put it away.
today. So yesterday I finally got the winter tub. This is some of the pieces I have. This Gap sweater, this cute little cover up, empty. I need to put that over there. And then I have like another pink sweater, this jacket. And just really cute, as you can tell, like wintry sweaters. This one's one of my favorites, but I hate that it's kind of itchy, like the material. It's itchy, but it's cute. Oh my gosh, look at this jacket that I found. It still has a tag and everything. This one was a Christmas gift from last year. But oh my gosh, I have not let this jacket go just for one reason. Whenever I go to New York, not if, when I do, I want it to be like snowing and me in this jacket. Like, you know, I have one Instagram picture with this jacket, but I will use it again for New York, but for now, I don't think I need it out, so I'm just gonna leave it in the bin. I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna put on music, so you're gonna just listen to some non-copyright music for now. put all of my summer clothes in bins. Okay, so I'm finally done with the clothes. It looks really cute back there. And I also organized my actual, my big closet. And I also like packed up all of my summer clothes and that's all put away and stored away for next summer. I've been really trying to make use of my time right now that I have off that I'm not working. Have that me time and like that time for me to just be creative and whatnot. I saw this drawing on Pinterest that I absolutely love. It's like playlist for every song. I customized this to like all the, my favorite songs. And well, if you don't know me, I'm literally obsessed with music. I am always listening to music. Headphones are like that one accessory that I need at all times if i leave the house and i don't have my headphones it's a bad day for me anyways i'm gonna recreate this so i'm not gonna paint it's just gonna straight up be pen today and then i'm gonna use markers i just don't want to get too messy just keep it simple but before i start i have to read my daily devotional that i've been reading if you have the bible app and you go to plans i'm doing the one that's called not okay you read a devotional and then it takes you to scripture and so i thought you know what let me incorporate god into this video somehow and i figured let me just share that with you guys so the theme for this topic is when people reject you jesus never will rejection can come from a lot of different places you can be rejected by friends who decide they don't want to hang out with you anymore you can be rejected by a partner who decides it's time to break up. You can be rejected by a sports team you tried out for, a job or a college you applied to, or a scholarship you thought you'd get. And here's the thing, no matter where the rejection comes from, it always hurts. It doesn't get any easier. Rejection always feels personal. It's always hard to get over and move on. No matter where the source of rejection is coming from, you can always take it to the same place. Peter writes in today's Bible reading that we can cast all of our stress and worry on God. We might be in pain for a little while, but God promises to take our worries, stress, and yes, even our rejection. That doesn't mean the pain will go away overnight. That's not how rejection works. But it does mean we don't have to go through it alone. That was so good. So that was a devotional and now I'm going to read the scripture. First Peter chapter 5. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all of your cares upon him for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour so basically what this is trying to say is that you are not alone the enemy is always seeking to attack you whenever you're at your weakest whenever you're at your most vulnerable and of course rejection and heartache and all of these things they make you vulnerable because you're not thinking with your mind you're thinking with your heart with your emotion and so god is saying cast all of your fears worries and whatnot on to like cast it to him because he's there to be with you and to hold your hand along the process i don't know who else needed to hear that but i really needed that right now but my camera is about to die i'm probably gonna start drawing and i'll show you guys afterwards because it's literally about to die i have all of these markers that i'm gonna use today i have the sketches it's actually harder than i intended because the squares had to be even smaller because i forgot i wanted the little playlist thing i'm gonna start coloring it in with all of my markers first up we have Lana start off with some reds
guys it looks like we have reached the end of today's vlog i think the little drawings came out so cute despite how tiny and tedious they were i liked it it was fun i think it's a great little like distraction anyways thank you so much for spending a day with me or a couple days i will see you in my next vlog